Mr. Binger is either forgetting the court's rulings or attempting to provoke a mistrial in this matter. He knows he can't go into this, and he's asking the questions. I ask the court to strongly admonish him, and the next time it happens, I'll be asking for a mistrial with prejudice. He's an experienced attorney, and he knows better. Or I indicated a bias towards denial is what I did. Held it open with a bias towards denial. Why would you think that that made it okay for you without any advance notice to bring this matter before the jury? You are already, you were, I, I was a, astonished when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have no idea why you would do something like that. Yeah. He has mentioned that he has he's acknowledged that he's used this gun to protect property. He's also just acknowledged that he knows he can't do that. I am attempting to impeach him now with the prior August 10th incident, 15 days prior, involving the same gun where he is threatening to use that gun to protect property. It he goes. Have the gun with him. Your Honor. He is saying he wished he did so he could shoot people. You know, there's a lot of difference between commenting about something when you haven't got a gun and threatening someone when you do. You know, it's interesting, Your Honor, because the entire defense theory in this case is Joseph Rosenbaum, who was unarmed. I want you to tell me what the defense theory of the case is. I, I believe that there is a central part of this case that Mr. Rosenbaum is making threats that he has no ability to carry out. So to your point, Your Honor, you're arguing that this August 10th incident, one, one aspect of why you don't believe it's relevant is the defendant didn't have the gun with him. The, this case is about someone who didn't have a weapon, and yet the jury is being told because of those threats, that means the defendant has to defend himself. So with all due respect, Your Honor, mere verbal threats have already been shown to this jury and used as a basis for someone's subsequent actions. I am attempting with the defendant to use his mere verbal threat on August 10th, 15 days prior, that he's going to shoot shoplifters with his AR-15 to impeach the defendant in a murder trial. I, I thought would. your ruling was, if the evidence in this case made that more relevant, you would admit it or at least consider it it's an admittance. I believe, based on the evidence that we've heard and more specifically, exactly what the defendant said earlier about admitting pointing a gun at someone who is merely jumping or sitting on a car, that the door is open now to this testimony. And I continue to believe that his state of mind, his intent, his belief as to self-defense is the core of this case. Yeah. That was the big You're talking about his attitudes? His attitude is he wants to shoot people. Now, I've admitted that kind of evidence in other trials when it's been appropriate. I didn't admit it in this case because to me, what I've heard in this trial, and by the way, Mr. Richards absolutely correctly points out that just hours ago, I said I had heard nothing in this trial to change any of my rulings. That was so the why? Testimony, Your Honor. Pardon me. That was before the defense testimony. Don't get brazen with me. Uh, uh, you knew very well. You know very well that an attorney can't go into these types of areas when the judge has already ruled without asking outside the presence of the jury to do so. So don't give me that. I said at the time that I made my ruling, and I'll repeat again now for you, I see no similarity between talking about wishing you had your AR gun, which you don't have, <laughs> so that you could take fire rounds at these uh, thought to be shoplifters, and the incidents in these cases, which are not, there's nothing in your case that suggests the defendant was lying in wait to shoot at somebody or reflecting upon the shooting for a vast amount of time. Every one of the incidents involves uh, matters that involve seconds in time. So I don't, I comment at the time, I don't see the similarity, and I don't see the similarity now. You have an incident where he's making comments about some uh, alleged shoplifters versus an, uh, 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 crimes that involve instantaneous actions, whether premeditated murder, or whether self-defense, that's for the jury to decide. But I don't see the similarity. I said it couldn't come in, and it 
isn't coming in. No matter what you think, 